In this video, I will run through an overview of the summary screen within Estimation MEP. I'll also answer the following questions. Why does my summary screen have fewer rows than my audit trail? How can I adjust my material prices? And what are the other views that are available to me? Let's get started. To navigate to your summary screen, select Summary in the navigation immediately after takeoff. If you recall from the previous video, the purpose of the audit trail is to see a listing of every individual object that was selected in your model and published to Estimation MEP. Now the purpose of summary is slightly different. There, the purpose is to see a bill of materials and total quantities. Now this would be quite difficult if you had 20 rows of the same thing but just different quantities. So for this reason, we roll up the identical items of the same size and manufacture within summary. This gives you a single row per unique item with just a total quantity for that item. The price for the item, the unit that that price is based on. Now, how can I adjust my material prices? I can do that in one of two ways. I can either adjust the discount multiplier or I can override the net price. Now, what other options are available to me within the summary screen? Within the summary screen, I have an alert that will tell me how many items are missing prices and how many items are missing labor. I can click either of these to filter the total summary screen to just show me those items that are missing information. Over here on the left, I also have a grouping option. This allows me to group my information in different ways. I can group my information by drawing, by item type, by manufacturer, by supplier, and by work breakdown. If we use the work breakdown example, now we're taking that rolled up view of unique items and we're redistributing them across the work breakdowns that were applied in the model and published to Estimation MEP. The final thing that I can do within the summary screen is I can download to Excel my entire bill of materials, either grouped or ungrouped, depending on the view when I hit download. So let's take a quick look at the answers to the questions that we posed at the beginning. So why does my summary screen have fewer rows than my audit trail? The answer, it is a rolled up view or summary of the audit trail. Identical items of the same size and manufacture are rolled up into a single row. Question two, how can I adjust my material prices? The answer, by either adding a discount multiplier or overriding the net price. And the third question, what other views are available? You can group your information on summary by drawing, by item type, by manufacturer, and by work breakdown. This concludes the overview of summary. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.